This is Tim Belayo with using Windows Home Server.com. One of the most popular and widely used add-ins for Windows Home Server version 1 is the backup database add-in by Alex Koretz of MediaSmartServer.net. This add-in allows you to back up the database that stores and controls all of the backups for the computers that are backed up to the Windows Home Server. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a restore for this backup database. Once you've inserted the drive that contains the backup database, click on Settings and click on WHS BDBB. The drive will now be available and the dates that are available for the backup database should be listed within the add-in. Now that you've selected the backup database that you'd like to restore, click on it and click on Restore. It will give you a message asking you, are you sure you want to restore from the backup target? And click on Restore. At this point, you will also click on the registry keys that are associated with the backup. Click on Yes, Restore. This was a USB drive that I had placed in a server as a SATA connection. It went relatively fast, but you can see it did take a while before it did the full restore. Click on OK, and you can now see within Computers and Backups, that I have the computers that were stored on the backup database. Not only do the backups remember which backups were which, but they also remember whether they were locked or not. You can see that my mother-in-law's computer, Sandra PC, was locked. My dad's computer was managed automatically. And Michelle's computer was locked. This allows me to copy all of the information and data as needed and do any restores based on any backup date that was stored within the backup database.